as we start the fourth quarter. But right now, I'm here with the reigning rookie of the year, Toronto Raptors forward. Charlie Barnes, listen, brother. I see you doing the NBA Finals, man. Look like you're trying to take my job. I see you interviewing guys, man. What's up with that? Nah, man, that's, all, that's your job. I'm, I'm leaving that to you. Thanks for the great intro. <laughs> my man, Scotty Ryan. Guys, listen, you're here at Summer League. You were here a year ago in this position, like a lot of other rookies. You, your first, your debut game. Do you remember your stat line for your debut game in Summer League? I don't. I think, did, did I do good? If I did good, I probably had like 33 or, I don't know, 25, <laughs> one or two. <laughs> did, did you do Did you do good? You say 33 and 25. I don't know. That's still a good game. It, 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 good game. it was 18 and 10 in your first game. What was the next game? I, I can't remember the next game. Oh, no. okay. It was pretty high. Huh? But what was your mindset going into a summer league game? Like, what was your, your mentality of trying to go out there and prove like that you belong? Uh, I was just trying to do all the right things, dude. I was just trying to help the team win and. Everything else just falls in place, really. Uh, I'm just trying to go out there and play defense, play with high intensity, try to guard my man and do what I could. How important is it playing in front of your coach, the executives, and also, you know, everybody else in this type of environment? Mm -hmm. uh, I would say, me, I personally loved it, playing in the environment. It was, uh, this is even more people than our college games have. So me coming right out of college during those COVID times, it was just like, so intense it felt it felt really good to play back in front of a lot of people uh so i was, I was just super excited playing in front of your coaches your teammates uh I just it's just showing them what you can do it's like basically the start uh but just really just trying to get your feel to the games get adjusted to this and then get prepared for the next level and you went into the next level into the regular season not many pegged you to win rookie of the year i have to admit i, I I wasn't. I, I didn't. I didn't expect it as well. All right, it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> but you. But you did. So, like, what was the fuel during the regular season? Did you ever think that that award was in was in your within, was in your hands? Uh, it was. It was a goal from the beginning of mine to try to do that. Uh, I tried to do everything I could, but like I said, winning just falls in place. Uh, trying to do the right things on the floor, getting those rebounds, doing those getting those, doing those little things on the floor, just separates you from the rest of the pack. And my last question, you guys made some moves this offseason. Brought on Otto Porter Jr. He started in the finals for the Warriors championship. Re um, signed DJ Wilson, re-signed Chris Boucher. What, what is the outlook of this team moving into next year? Uh, we're just looking to just get better. We, we, we are all familiar, familiar with each other's games now. Uh, so we're really just starting to try to take off for now. Uh, we did something special last year, but we're just really trying to accelerate and just keep going. Scott, listen, man, stay, stay on the basketball court. We got enough players coming on this side, man. Let's deal with that right now, man. For sure, for sure. Appreciate you, brother. <laughs> Oh, so much from that interview by a guy, Chris Haynes, that was funny. I think the, the, there's two things for me. The funniest part, Scotty Barnes, how much you had in your first game? Ah, 33. He had 18. 33, 25. 50, 11, something like that. He had, he had uh, 18 and 10. And then I thought what was uh, poignant about what Scotty said, is that he had more people in his summer league game than any of his college games, obviously because of COVID and he loved the environment here at Summer League. Yeah, it was well, tough. Talking to a lot of college players that I know, they were saying, you know, that's the first time playing in an atmosphere where no one was in a gym. And Scotty Barnes is one of those players, unfortunately, you know, during that COVID um, season. So then he got a chance to come to Summer League. Players are here. He felt comfortable. I love him because he loves the game of basketball. Absolutely. You can tell. And that conversation, and we have a two-point game with eight minutes to go here now as Queen nails the three. Ben looking to continue his hot hand. Coloco raising up high to slap that out, but 76ers get control. Ben is all over Muhammad. Muhammad, the nice pass over, but out of bounds in the corner for Foster. That's where you see both guys out of position. Muhammad not comfortable handling the basketball. And then next, you watch the Philadelphia 76ers and not comfortable at all shooting that with Michael Foster Jr. from three. 17 turnovers now for the 76ers. And that's one they're going to look at and think, okay, we got to figure this out, control this for our next summer league game. They get always, this under control. They usually have high turnovers in these games. They haven't played with each other. They're young. 
inexperienced, um, and guys sometimes are trying to, you know, do a little bit too much. So you have some turnovers. Benton. Oh, looking inside. It's another one. But this time around for the Raptors. Queen. Another turnover. 18 turnovers now for Philly. Karooks going baseline. Oh, and he's rejected by Foster. But hold on. Foul on the play. Roots had bad intentions on that play. Take a closer look. Point out the bounce. That looks like he got him in the back of the head straight. Have a close game, and all the coaches right now is players they're looking at that maybe get a chance to make this roster, see what you can do. You know, close situation, tight games, making decision making. Well, Karooks is an interesting guy because he has 131 games of NBA experience. And he came in immediately and was able to contribute for the Nets. And he's still 24 years old, you know, 40th pick in the draft a few years ago. With his resume and experience, you would think he would be a bit older. But he, he has been around. Got a nice deal. And you see that experience right there. It did. It paid off. <laughs> Watch this play by Luke's. After attacking the rim. Using the hands off of Joe's back. That's beautiful play. You're the Raptors right now, you want to convert again. Put some pressure on this Sixers team. A tough pass, almost in the backcourt. Benton able to save that. Wilson, as open as you can get. Sometimes they say for a reason. <laughs> That'd be one of those times. Queen. Not open, fouled on a three-point attempt. They'll head to the line. Wilson asking Nick Nurse, was that a foul? Communication, TJ trying to get the man with Nick Nurse. That's pretty smart. Brent Smith, I think he understood it was a foul. But by asking, maybe saying, Coach, I didn't mean to do that. Nick Nurse just gave him the look like, And Nick Nurse does not look happy, but that sequence of events looks like we're going to see a challenge on that play. 